Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, my name is Dr. Muhammad Shafiq, and uh, I'm a lecturer at the uh, Department of Islamic and Pakistan Studies uh, at Guwahat University. And as you can see, the title uh, of the first slide I'm going to teach you uh, philosophy of science uh, and logic in this uh, semester. And this is uh, my first online lecture for you. Um, and in this lecture, I will try to explain uh, why uh, do we need these online classes, uh, how we are going to deliver lectures, and uh, how we are going to evaluate, uh, as well as what is the course structure and what are the aims, objectives, and importance of this course. Why do you need to study this course? And perhaps a, a recap of uh, all those lectures. Uh, which I have uh, already delivered in the class. Uh, another thing is, uh, uh, most of the time when I start uh, teaching uh, philosophy of science course, which is uh, mainly in uh, all uh, these science departments in CUST, uh, the first thing arises, or first question arises in the uh, minds of students is, why do they need to study philosophy? or what philosophy has got to do with the science. And uh, I would uh, try to explain the importance of philosophy. And, and uh, that basically is, uh, that could be depicted in the uh, main definition of philosophy. Basically, philosophy uh, is uh, the combination of two uh, words, philo and sophie which means uh, love for wisdom or love for knowledge. Now, uh, if you look into the science uh, and philosophy, both science and philosophy's main aim is to gain knowledge uh, for the progress of human beings. Uh, hence, we need to study philosophy in, in the subject, in the uh, discipline of science, because we need to familiarize ourselves with the key concept of, of philosophy and uh, because philosophy is considered to be mother of all sciences, that is why it provides a foundation to the science. So, in fact, uh, in uh, all the developed uh, countries, uh, this course is uh, basically uh, taught in, in undergraduate level so that students can uh, form, they, they can form concepts and they can come up with the ideas, and that's how they can move into the uh, scientific progress. So without understanding philosophy, uh, I suppose we cannot properly understand what is uh, the meaning of science and why do we uh, study science. Uh, the objectives of this, this course uh, basically uh, are to familiarize students with the basic concepts of philosophy uh, what is philosophy? Uh, what is the philosophy? What is the role of philosophy in science? And uh, what are the major branches of philosophy? Uh, what is meant by philosophical methods? And uh, what are the logical inquiries or uh, logical concepts? Uh, what is the role of logic uh, in this philosophy? Uh, sorry, in 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 the uh, science and scientific inquiries. What do, mean, what, what do we mean by arguments and scientific theories? And what are the contemporary issues in, in uh, philosophy, uh, in, in science and, and philosophy? Uh, the main theories of, of philosophy of science, uh, different scientists have come up with. So all these uh, objectives uh, we are going to, uh, we are trying to, we will we'll go and try to
Uh, now uh, I will try to uh, recap those uh, classroom lectures which I have already delivered uh, during this semester before this pandemic happened. Uh, the first thing I would like to explain and define is uh, what is philosophy and this is natural to uh, to raise this question before starting uh, this course uh, that what is meant by philosophy as I explained earlier uh, philosophy is derived from two Greek words uh, philo and sophie uh, it's a combination of these two words which basically means love for wisdom or knowledge. Now loving something uh, entails its possession, its, its human nature obviously. So philosophy basically means acquiring or trying to or trying to possess wisdom or knowledge. Some people also define philosophy as a search of uh, ultimate truth or reality. So philosophy is called uh, mother of all sciences as all the sciences, whether natural or social uh, sciences, they branch out from philosophy. Uh, normally, uh, when I start these lectures in philosophy of science, I, I try to explain and I come, uh, I come up with this uh, incident once happened in uh, one of my classes uh, when uh, I was trying to explain what is philosophy and uh, I, I said that philosophy is mother of all sciences. So one of my students raised this question that, uh, so uh, the mathematicians, uh, they say that uh, mathematics is the uh, mother of all sciences. Uh, on the other hand, sociologists would uh, say that sociology is mother of all social sciences. Now uh, you're telling us that philosophy is, is mother of all sciences. So uh, what is happening? I mean, uh, uh, the problem is uh, it's not because philosophy is my subject. That's why I, I call it mother of all sciences. But if we look into the definition of philosophy, which basically means uh, the love for knowledge or search for the truth, that would explain why and how it is called mother of all sciences. Now, that's true that mathematics uh, is mother of all natural sciences, as uh, you cannot imagine any natural science uh, without mathematics or without mathematical knowledge or equation. On the other hand, obviously, sociology is mother of all social sciences because uh, it is related uh, with the uh, knowledge about society and relationships in the society and how society is moved and and all those uh, all those sciences which are related with the society uh, that includes obviously economics uh, that would say uh, management let's say education all uh, social sciences, uh, which has uh, something to do with society. But philosophy is, uh, basically is uh, at the top of both mathematics and sociology because it is concerned with the knowledge, uh, regardless whether it's uh, about natural sciences or about social sciences, or what kind of knowledge it is. It, it simply, it, is, it concentrates upon on the knowledge, uh, on the gaining of knowledge. Hence, uh, all the uh, issues, all the inquiries, uh, they come out of uh, philosophy, or basically philosophy uh, generates all these uh, questions. <clears throat> Hence, it is uh, considered mother of all sciences. Uh, another thing is uh, many important issues of daily life belong to philosophy. Fact, philosophy is a systematic study of searching the truth of any issue or anything. It is philosophy which deals with whatever is of cultural value in different in, in, in various studies. So basically, uh, philosophy has a twofold nature, or it has two main functions to perform. Uh, the first thing or, or the first function is uh, of philosophy is to, uh, an attempt to understand the structure of the universe, uh, the reality of the universe, how uh, this universe was made and 
who made it or how it came into being or uh, what is the purpose of this universe and the second uh, function or uh, uh, the second function of, of the philosophy is basically uh, it's, it's an attempt to find uh, the best ethic or moral system or, or, or such a system through which life may be lived in, in, uh, in this universe. Uh, these two functions connect philosophy with science and religion. Philosophy has two objectives in view. One, to start a theory which helps us understand the nature and structure of the universe. And two, to search a system of conduct and values uh, which should uh, help us in leading life uh, in the best possible way. So philosophy deals with the sphere of speculation from which many ideas are taken up by science and to be tested and proved or disproved, disproved by them. Science only deals with the uh, certainties while philosophy deals with many important questions on which there never can be certainty. Uncertainty has a much role to play in life as certainty. Now, the knowledge of philosophy enables a man to ensure that science is used in a way which is conducive to general human welfare. And uh, I would try, I, I would quote uh, Burton Russell uh, here, and uh, according to Russell, philosophy is a, an indispensable part of all education. But he does not mean professional philosophy, but philosophy in its original sense, that is a love for wisdom or knowledge. Now, uh, there are uh, major branches of philosophy or uh, major areas of philosophy which uh, we'll try to explore during uh, the semester. But the first main branch or major branch of uh, philosophy is called metaphysics. And metaphysics basically is a branch of philosophy which is concerned with the uh, reality of universe, uh, reality of man as a part of this universe, and uh, the real reality of God, or uh, what is the ultimate reality of this universe. It also discusses uh, what do we mean by existence, and what things, what are those things which really exist, and what are uh, uh, those things which are a mere illusion, or it tries to explain uh, or it attempts to uh, explain what is the reality of existence. Uh, we'll discuss these concepts obviously in detail in, uh, in our uh, later lectures. The second uh, branch of philosophy is called epistemology. And epistemology is basically concerned with the key concepts uh, such as what is the nature of knowledge, what are the sources of knowledge? How do we get knowledge? Or what is meant by knowledge? And uh, also, what is a valid and invalid knowledge? So, uh, the importance of this branch also, uh, it, it generally it's very important, but in, in these uh, uh, times in which we are bombarded with uh, disinformation and misinformation, we need to understand the basic concepts of knowledge, that what do we mean by knowledge and what is genuine knowledge. Uh, another branch, uh, the third major branch of philosophy is called axiology. It's, it's basically, axiology is the theory of values and it includes both moral and aesthetic values. Uh, it is concerned with the uh, nature of values, the classification of values, also the characteristics of supreme values and kinds of values uh, uh, such as what is meant by beauty and in, in uh, moral philosophy uh, what is meant by good what is meant by bad uh, how do we separate right from wrong all these concepts uh, what is the reality behind these good and bad and right and wrong? Uh, how can we explain it? How can we understand it? So, and and the fourth, uh, uh, the last and but not the least, a very important branch of philosophy is logic. So what do what do we mean by logic? 
uh, if it's concerned with the nature nature of logic, uh, what is inductive and deductive logic, what is the usefulness of logic, what is the role of logic in, in especially in science as a philosophy of science student. So all these uh, uh, four main branches are, are the main uh, uh, branches of philosophy which we'll try to explore uh, during the semester.